The world is still talking about Banksy's $1.1 million self destructing art piece that sold in an auction. Well, now people think that they figured out who Banksy is because Banksy was more than likely present at this auction. In fact, Banksy was photographed at this auction. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. What is happening, people? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and if you need a place to get your news on YouTube, smash the subscribe and follow us on Instagram. So, over the weekend, everyone was talking about Banksy's self destructing art piece that sold for £1.1 million. Banksy is an anonymous street artist that got his start in Bristol. He's not only an artist, he's a political activist and a film director. The world is his canvas. He mostly does his pieces on walls and bridges throughout the entire world. And Banksy is actually against people selling his artwork. Any Banksy exhibits that happen, happen without Banksy's consent. So for those who haven't heard, Banksy built a shredder into the frame of one of his paintings. The painting recently sold at the famous London auction house saw the bees for 1.1 million pounds. The piece was the famous image of the girl holding a balloon. As the painting was confirmed to be sold to the highest bidder, it began going through a shredder built into the bottom of the frame and the painting was destroyed. Amazing right? Banksy is a legend! To me this makes this an authentic Banksy piece, even though it's basically like paper mulch now. <laughs> but still, sucks to be the person that has to fork out 1.1 million pounds for a piece of shredded Banksy. Anyway, so Banksy trolling the art community in this way was definitely hilarious, but it might have actually compromised his identity. Are we really supposed to believe that this expensive art piece wasn't checked by the experts at the auction house? A shredder in the bottom of the frame must have made it pretty darn heavy. Paintings are, uh, they're pretty light. Especially this painting. It wasn't very big at all. So what conclusion can we draw? Someone at the Sotheby's auction house is probably in on this whole thing. Why do people think this? Well, because the mass media attention that was created from the self-destructing art piece probably made it worth even more than 1.1 million. Experts say it might have doubled the worth of the painting, making it more than 2 million pounds, which works out to be 3.4 million dollars. Banksy's been hiding his identity from the world for years. He's the world's most well-known anonymous graffiti artist. How is it that someone that's the most well-known anonymous graffiti artist managed to conceal his identity for so long without someone figuring out who he is? He probably has accomplices. He creates a lot of his artwork outside side which means he's probably been seen doing it. One of the people that keeps coming up as a possible Banksy is a man named Robin Gunningham. In 1994, Banksy checked into a New York hotel using the name Robin. And in 2017, DJ Goldie referred to Banksy as Rob. Robin Gunningham is a street artist from Bristol, a lot like Banksy. Rumors about Robin Gunningham being Banksy have been floating around since 2008, but he has denied time and time again that he's Banksy. What we do know is Banksy was present at this auction. He took a video of the painting self destructing and posted it on his Instagram page. And in the caption there was a Picasso quote, the urge to destroy is also a creative urge. Very deep Banksy, very deep. Okay, so there's a point to all this. I know I'm taking like the run around, but stay with me for a second, just one more second. So guess who was photographed at the auction? Robin Gunningham. Here he is getting a video of the art piece being shredded from the same angle as the video that Banksy posted on his Instagram. Mind officially blown. So would Banksy actually be present at the shredding of his painting? Maybe not. Maybe he wouldn't risk it. The video he posted on his Instagram shows the shredding from several angles, which means that more than one person might have been in on it. But that doesn't change the fact that Robin Gunningham was present at the auction, and he's one of the people that could be Banksy. Anyways guys, that is all I have for you on that. It is time to respond to some of your comments. Zeus Diaz said, Charlotte, I love Inform Overload. Do a comment dance for your fans in the oil field. Woo, oil fields. Oil fields are actually not that good, but Let's forget about that. Ari Mirstar said, a queen. Ha, huh, you are no queen, but a messiah. I am Potato News Messiah. I like the ring of that. Unicorn Dragon said, is it possible to live without IO? Because I really don't think it is. I mean, IO pays like my bills and stuff, so it's not possible for me to live without IO. But I don't know about you guys. Garrett said, the only reason I watch this channel is because it has good content and also because of Charlotte's voice. Oh hey, well if you like my voice, you should check out our other channel, Life's Biggest Questions. I narrate for that channel so it is just my voice and nothing else. Miguel Flores said, when Charlotte says they put together a playlist, but you've already watched every playlist. Alright there, Keener, maybe we'll make some more just for you. Grace for All said, wow, how ignorant can this chick be? Cracking jokes about God and his word. Couldn't get any more ignorant. Tasteless and mocking. You mad bro? The video is over and thanks for watching. If you like this video, you should also check out this playlist. And obviously make sure you like, subscribe and turn on notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.